Hey there! I'm just here today to show you four of my glue books that I'm going to be playing with over the next long, long while, I suspect. I really like doing glue books. Um, it's relaxing and it is a nice way to uh, feature some beautiful imagery, illustrations, um, ephemera that I've collected over uh, the last while. So I've got four here because I'm going to be trying to do different themes in each one. Now I haven't started any of the uh, gluing. These are just the basic books and I thought I would do them ahead of time so that when I do stumble onto some images that I really want to use then the books will already be made and then I can just pick a page in there do my gluing and stuff and then uh, and that'll just go a little faster that way. So in case you don't know what a glue book is, uh, my understanding of glue books is that it's just any type of book or uh, journal that you have that you want to glue in images that interest you. So they can be magazine images, they can be ephemera or photos or whatever it is that you like. And you just go in and you glue them and, and uh, keep them as a keepsake that way. So I'll just flip through these and uh, tell you what they're going to be about. So the first one here is um, a book that I got it. It's by Winston Churchill and I thought that it would be appropriate for featuring some of my um, images and stamps of the Queen as well as other royals. So I used um, mainly the correspondence um, papers by Tim Holtz. I just love I love these. And on the inside cover I did some uh, stitching and I used uh, the paper that's at the back of the paper pack where you can cut these down into cards but I just sort of stitched them up to look a bit like a patchwork here. So again this is just the plain book. I haven't started any gluing in here yet but these kinds of papers will make really nice backdrops for for what I have in mind. I have um, stamps and I have images of the Queen. I have different royals from magazines I've collected. So that's what the theme of this one's going to be. I do like Tim Holtz paper. It's very grungy and vintage, so it works well with the type of uh, projects I like to work on. This one here, I really like the uh, spine on it, and so I'm going to use this one to feature a lot of the Harper's Bazaar uh, magazines that I have from the 1800s, 1870s. Some of the ladies, the illustrations in those uh, magazines are just stunning. So I'm going to feature a lot of that in here. I haven't really figured out totally uh, the entire theme, but it's, it's mainly to feature those ladies. And so I did some of the same stitching on this with, um, with the smaller images from, the, from a Tim Holtz paper pad. And uh, I used book pages as well, and I had some leftovers from Mabel's diary, so I included them in here. This will probably be covered up. It's plain white now, but I can add all kinds of different layers when I glue them on. Some coffee dyed paper and some old ledger pages. So that's what the theme of this one here is going to be. I do have a lot of um, old cathedral images as well, postcards and such, so they may go into this one as well. I'm not sure. Victorian blueprints. This one here is going to be lots of fun because I want to feature 
just industrial type stuff. So I have a lot of that. I have maps and schematics and some old popular science magazines from the 30s that have really beautiful images. They're not necessarily the style that I usually work with, but uh, industrial is just fascinating to me. So I thought this cover was particularly amazing because first of all it's a uh, about Canada and this train is just beautiful. So I have a lot of postage stamps of airplanes and trains and that sort of thing. And then for the front and back inside covers I uh, shrunk down the covers of the popular science magazines to, to fit the uh, size of this book. So this is the um, basic scheme here. It's just uh, blue and reds and uh, neutrals. Also all Tim Holtz. So this is going to be super fun. And this book is a little bit bigger than what I usually work in, so I'll have a lot of space to glue in some, uh, some ephemera. And there's the back. This last one here uh, is a cover from a book called The Birds Fall Down. And I've been hanging on to it for the longest time because I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I had to do some work on the cover uh, because the front was a different color than the back and you can still tell that a little bit but after distressing it and doing some funky stuff with uh, gold paint and stuff I find that it looks uh, even better than it did originally. So obviously this one here because of the theme of birds I'm going to feature a lot of birds and botanical images from stamps and books that I have, postcards, whatever, I, whatever I've collected. So again I've got Tim Holtz paper in here and some coffee dyed uh, note paper, some plain paper, And just a variety of uh, pads from Tim Holtz that I had just because I like the color. So there's some red and uh, green in this one here and some blue and red and pink. So these will make really great backgrounds for the images that I have in mind. And these were basically gutted and then I did the hidden pamphlet stitch spine which I then glued in and that's uh, I have a tutorial for how I make that. I don't think I invented the technique, I just made it in a way that works for me. So here's my piece of grunge paper that has the signatures attached to and then the grunge paper was then uh, glued into the original spine. So I will show you an example of the kind of ephemera that I plan on using in these books just so you have an idea of, uh, of what I mean by gluing them in. So I've got this old car and an airplane here, little airmail sticker, locomotive, ship. Just gorgeous. This is a pilot and his plane. Another airplane. I've got a lot of map images and some of them I just love because of the colors. Not necessarily the content or the theme because this is about war, uh, but simply uh, the imagery. So this would make a really nice background on a, on a page. This is also from a, uh, from the, a war type book, but the 
illustration just I find it fascinating and I like the color um, again I have all kinds of really interesting images this is from a science book for kids I just love this little guy <laughs> And then I have a box full of these, um, uh, this type of artwork and such. So look at that cutie. Beautiful. Another beautiful lady. And then images of different cathedrals. So these would be really nice in there. And I've got uh, botanical book pages. And these are like really old and you can see there's some water stains and such but beautiful illustrations another one here southern crab apple isn't that beautiful this is art I mean this is gorgeous so that's also going to go in there and then I have this beautiful book called our amazing birds and I never took it apart and I never cut into it because it's just so precious to me <laughs> um, but you know with technology uh, and because this is going to be for my personal use my plan for the images in this book is to just copy them and then do my collages with the copies again because it's for my personal use because this is definitely um, I'll check the copyright on here 1952 so you know you can't really just scan these images and then use them for profit uh, because they are still uh, copyrighted but look at these owls isn't that beautiful so by copying them I can resize them to fit in my book Another cute little owl just the book is full of absolutely stunning illustrations. So I'm going to um, feature these guys because they are just too pretty to be hidden away in a book and not enjoyed. So that's my plan. So I just wanted to give you an example of the kind of uh, stuff I'm going to be adding in here. It's going to be super fun and it's not going to be the type of project where I'm doing one of these from start to finish and then doing a video of a flip through. What I'll probably end up doing is whenever I stumble onto an image that I like in my stash, I'll put together a page and then uh, maybe take a photo and show it on Instagram or something. So this is not something that's going to be done overnight. It could take me like a year or maybe more to finish these books but it was just a way that I felt um, would work well for me as far as using up some of the beautiful stuff that I've collected uh, over the years. It's time for me to start using them. I don't like hoarding. I don't like keeping stuff hidden away in a, in a stash. I like to feature it and and enjoy it so this is this is how I'm gonna be doing that so if you have any questions let me know I'll see you guys next time